Hello and welcome to our Church at Home service for Trinity Sunday. I hope that you're all well and that you've had a good week. I was able on Friday to see my new baby grandson for the first time um, with a social distance chat on the drive at my son's and daughter-in-law's house. The heavens did open um, as soon as I got there, so I did have to spend the first five minutes sitting in the car. But after that, it was lovely. So a special shout out to you at Cowick, at uh, Holy Trinity Cowick. It's your feast day today. Let's pray together. The Lord be with you. We come from scattered lives to meet with God. Let us recognise his presence with us. As God's people we have gathered, let us worship him together. I've been praying this week for the sins of our society in not being able to deal justly with all of God's children, especially those of different race and colour to us. And so I come today in sorrow for the sins of our whole society and for my own part in that, as we come together to ask God's forgiveness. Lord God, we have sinned against you. We have done evil in your sight. We are sorry and repent. Have mercy on us according to your love. Wash away our wrongdoing and cleanse us from our sin. Renew a right spirit within us and restore us to the joy of your salvation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Father forgive us by the death of his Son and strengthen us to live in the power of the Spirit all our days. Amen. The Collect Prayer for Trinity Sunday Almighty and everlasting God, you have given us your servant's grace by the confession of a true faith to acknowledge the glory of the eternal Trinity and in the power of the divine majesty to worship the unity. Keep us steadfast in this faith that we may evermore be defended from all adversities. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our first reading is taken from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 13. Finally, brothers and sisters, farewell. Put things in order, listen to my appeal, agree with one another, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the saints greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the Gospel reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28, the very last bit from verse 16. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptising them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. This is the word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. Well, these readings have echoes of our liturgy um, in them. First, in our first reading, the very end of that letter that Paul writes to the church in Corinth um, gives us the words of the grace. And in the gospel reading, Jesus commands his followers to go and baptise in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Well, I can't see us doing any baptising um, in any short order, though some people have suggested that um, a super soaker at a distance might work. Um, in fact, last week, instead of baptising my new baby grandson, um, a, a short service of thanksgiving for the birth of the child was held um, over a Zoom um, so, service, so I was able to join in with that at a distance, as were many of our family and friends who live scattered around the country. But if we can't meet together to share the grace, we can at least hold each other in our hearts and pray that prayer for each other. So perhaps you'd like to take a moment now to draw to mind those you would be sharing the pews with and pray over them. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. Let us declare our faith in the God who is one and three. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Now let us join together in our prayers for the church and for the world. We pray for the church throughout the world. For those in places of poverty, for those who meet in secret, that all who confess your name would be united in your truth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all in authority, in our nation. We pray for our government, for wisdom as it works out the best way to bring us out of lockdown safely. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our communities, for those who are finding this time difficult, for those who feel lonely and isolated. May we share the love of God in the small ways that we can. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We lift to God our families, that God would preserve them in safety.
and we remember any in special need. We pray for those in pain, for those who care for them. For those experiencing the pain of bereavement, especially we remember the family and friends of Pat and of Susan. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy, blessed and glorious Trinity, one in three, three in one, bind us together in unity, bind us together in love, bind us together with loved ones departed, bind us together with your saints in glory. Holy God, holy and strong, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Now a blessing for you all. The love of the Lord Jesus draw you to himself. The power of the Lord Jesus strengthen you in his service. The joy of the Lord Jesus fill your hearts. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.